Let's have a go at embroidering the blocks for this busy box. First of all, we want to stitch out our placement square to apply our bag stabilizer and batting. Place the bag stabilizer and batting onto the hoop with the with the batting on top and the bag stiffener stabilizer underneath so it's sandwiched and stitch all the way around. Trim back to our seam allowance or to our seam one to two millimeters then apply our top fabric on top of the batting. Make sure it stays taut. We don't want any puckers or pleats. And then we'll just do our embroidery, our quilting embroidery, which will end up giving us the effect of a basket weave. It's very effective. And every color and thread change um, makes it a little bit different. So then the next blocks will be the corner end pieces of the busy box and there we want to first stitch down this triangle on top of our trimmed back bag stabilizer and batting. Now we stitch the triangle the longest edge first because if you stitch the square the um straight or shorter edges then you'll find that that last edge will stretch. We don't want that. And this particular block is actually a continuous it does two blocks of the same color but we actually stopped our machine and put a second color fabric in so as we can actually complete our design now we want to trim back our seam allowances to half an inch around all sides later we will trim back the long edge back to a quarter of an inch which you could do now if you wished but it depends on how you're going to apply your zip Our batting and um, st our bag stiffener stabilizer are set in a little bit further along the zip edge of our blocks, just so they don't interfere with the final stitching of the zip. So here we have one, two, three, 